Have you ever been in the red? I don't mean a red scarf. I don't mean red because you're embarrassed. In the red is an idiom or expression that might be related to, there wasn't really a lot of information on where it exactly came from, but uh, red letter day or using the practice of using red to mark important dates and days on calendars dates back to the 1300s. Now in the red and the use of that probably was called out and used in the early 1900s, at least here in America, when newspapers began to use red as the color. Red is actually the first color that people started to use and describe, probably because of blood is what I'm thinking, um, after the, the colors of black and white. Black and white were the first named colors, and then red was the next one. I mean, because it's a primary color, and uh, I'm not, they didn't really say why it started using it in the 1300s, but by, as far back as the 1300s, they were using red on calendars to mark religious and important dates. So red has always been an important color. And in the 1900s, the practice uh, was applied to, mostly to accounting. When you do accounting books, you use a red pen to mark the things, the expenses, the, the outgoing flows, and especially on balance sheets to denote that there's more going out than coming in. And black, let me see if I have a black pen handy. No, nope, blue, of course, blue or black, depends on your organization, but usually black to denote that the company's making a profit. So assets would appear in black, liabilities and things and negative numbers would always appear in red print. And that became um, a practice, it's been a practice at least my entire life and, and since all of the 1900s. And again, dates back to the use of red being uh, the first primary color that was called out when they were naming colors. I don't know who named colors. I don't know some wise and amazing leader in the cave, or not in the cave, we were out of caves by then. But my question for you today is, have you ever been in the red? Have you ever been in debt? It means to be in debt, to mean that you owe somebody or something money. It used to be just the bank, but now you can owe all kinds of, of entities and people money. And when your debt is greater than your expenses, or when your debt and the expenses and the things you owe is greater than what you're bringing in, then that means you're in the red. COVID-19, I suspect, even though we'll never know the true magnitude of the impact that the changes um, it's had will be, I don't know, maybe somebody will estimate the total impact, but it's hard to measure, right? It's hard to measure loss of, loss of income can maybe be measured clearly, with, you know, if you have a job or something, but loss of potential income, loss of um, income and opportunity is really, really hard to measure. And, and that for sure measures in the trillions and trillions of, or trillions of dollars, I would think. Uh, in, in the United States alone, I bet it's trillions of dollars lost due to, um, in, tied directly to results of and the impacts of the pandemic. So are you, have you ever been in the red? I, I've totally been in the red. Oftentimes when we first start our business, we have to invest money or get investors before we ever will turn a profit. I've been in businesses and industries where we didn't turn a profit for several years, like three or four years. My uh, uncle, I think I mentioned a while back that he is starting a distillery with some friends. It takes at least three years before you turn a profit when you start a distillery business. That's why that many people don't start, and this is bourbon specifically, that many people don't start distilleries. The cost of entry is millions and millions of dollars in, in, in equipment and time and energy and expertise. It's millions of dollars. Most people don't have millions of dollars that they can start a distillery or start any other business without having some income or, or making a profit. You know, there are, there are exceptions to that rule. Lots of people find ways to do it, obviously, because millions of businesses start every year, but the vast majority of them fail as well. So. We want to make sure that we are trying to be in the black, not in the red. Ah. So I'd love to hear your stories and your experiences about being in the black or being in the red. Share in the comments below. I know that I never liked the feeling of being in the red unless I knew that I had um, financial resources lined up to cover anything. You know, things like overdraft protection and that exists nowadays or lines of credit for our businesses as we're growing and going through the ebbs and flows of our different businesses and industries. Uh, like I said, this, this one doesn't have a lot of negative connotations to me, but it does have a few. I mean, every time I have to pick up and all I can find is a red pen, 
I'm thinking, oh, I don't, I don't even like writing in red. That's, that's how deeply seated the emotional links and beliefs and thoughts can be tied to just a color. But red is actually one of my favorite colors, so I think it's funny. So is black, though. Black is, black is probably more favorite than red. All right, that's it. Have an awesome day. That's our idiom for today in the red. Probably should have worn red today, but I wasn't feeling it. Red pen was enough. Uh, I did go see the sunrise this morning for the eclipse, but I missed the eclipse. Cloudy where I was, and then as the sun was coming up, it burned off the clouds, but it was after the, the lunar eclipse, the moon eclipse that happened. Have an awesome day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it in your business and your life right now? Take care.